Hey, 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 Scorpio, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget oh, to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Scorpio, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, link is in the description box below. Make sure you click on that link if there are scammers about. All right, Scorpio. So your overall energy for Christmas Eve and Christmas is the Five of Cups. You have the Queen of Cups. You have the Two of Cups, Temperance, and the Magician. Wow. Wow. So there's somebody that you're thinking about. There's an overall sadness. You could be missing somebody over the holidays, right? Somebody from the past. So there's this nostalgia. Venus is retrograde, so that makes sense. You're very much dreamlike. You're dreaming about what was, what the holidays were like with them. Because we have the two of cups here. There's an angel here that's trying to, they, this angel could be trying to manifest something with you and this individual, or could be trying to manifest this two of cups for you. Let's see what's going on. Tell me about the five of cups for Scorpio. Tell me about the five of cups for Scorpio. Tell me about the five of cups, spirit. We have shaman, the medicine healer. We have the Hermit, and we have, of course, the Tower. Everybody's getting the Tower. So you could be healing over this past person. There could be epiphanies that you're coming to. You're healing your shadow side, or you're coming to the realization of something within you. Mature man. So this person could have been older. Okay, so let's see what else is going on. Tell me about the Queen of Cups here for Scorpio. Why is the Queen of Cups here, Spirit? Why is the Queen of Cups here? The Scorpio, what you're dreaming about? Come on now. Uh, you're dreaming about when whoever walked away. The King of Cups. And this new beginning, the world. So you're very nostalgic about this individual. Poverty. You're feeling a lack in this love situation. You're feeling like something is missing. Hmm, you're thinking about your journey ahead. Where are you going? And how are you getting there? Right? All right, so let's see what this Two of Cups is. What is this Two of Cups for Scorpio? What is this? We have the Emperor. So you may have an Aries or a Taurus coming your way, Scorpio. Tell me about the Two of Cups and the Emperor. The Eight of Swords. Okay, and the Sun. So you're going to be all up in your head about this Emperor. This may be the person from the past. I don't know. I don't really have past cards but the Five of Cups up here. So I feel like there's a lot of happiness. You could be all up in your head about this. This could come by surprise here. Okay. Uh, either reuniting with this person or somebody new coming in that makes you extremely happy. But you're going over and over and over in your mind about this love situation. So let's see what this is. What is this for Scorpio? Spirit, what is this? Oh, you're getting a gift. You're getting a gift. Hmm. Give me one more on this gift. Somebody's coming in. Message of concern. This could be the past person. Maybe it surprises you. But they, they come on in 
Maybe they say, hey, I'm coming on down. You need to make a decision, Scorpio. What are you going to do about this? Are you going to come together with this individual or not? And this could be the person from the past messaging you after a new person comes in. It's like after you let this energy, their energy go. They feel it. So this may happen when a new person comes in. Okay. So let's talk about this temperance card. I want to know what this angel is trying to do. Is this angel trying to get you and somebody else uh, new together or somebody old? We have the High Priestess, we have the Page of Cups, and we have the Star. So this angel is helping you to heal this situation from the past, helping you to, they're saying um, to expand on your intuition by opening up your heart, and they're, they're asking you to forgive. Four of Wands. Yeah, because I feel like you have a commitment coming. That could be a proposal. Old or new. Going to be different for all of you. Let me get... Uh, that's going to come out of nowhere. A lot of surprising things happening. Thanks. Expectation and pathway. So what are you expecting? out of love you need to drop your expectations and just allow allow this energy however it's going to enter to come in okay and heal right because you're going to gain confidence in this healing let's talk about the magician what you manifest in Ooh. ah oh what's going on spirit all right, so we have El Caution, the Heedful Mouse. We have the Nine of Swords. And we have the Three of Pentacles. So you're manifesting something, but you maybe need to be cautious about somebody. Who's this El Caution? Or maybe this is just your anxiety. Okay, it's your heart. Your heart is telling you to be cautious about something. They're saying wait. It may be a decision between two people. And your heart is trying to tell you something. So they're wanting you to sort of take a step back and look at things from a different perspective and listen to your heart here. Okay, is this fear coming, is this caution coming from your inner fear based on past experiences or is it truly your intuition? Yeah, there's a message coming. You, you have that over there and then you've got over here. Yep, see, you're getting proposed to. I think it's from this person from the past, but it totally could be new or somebody recent right i'm getting that too tell me about this person who is this person proposing yeah you can't see it the two of swords the blind seal you don't see this coming the fool could be an aries we did have the emperor the three of wands somebody at a distance what's the intention of this person Okay, Three of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Lovers. I feel like this in, the intention of this individual is to heal. And now the Lovers is a choice. They're wanting you to choose them if this is a choice between two. But I feel like you need to be cautious as to why this person is coming back. Are they coming back because they feel your energy pull away because of the new and it's out of ego, like, yeah, I know I can win this competition type thing. This is, you know, this is fate. 
So whatever is going on, it's fate. You're going to have to listen to your intuition. And that's what temperance is here for. That's what that angel is here for, Scorpio. To remind you, wait a minute. Listen to your intuition. Me and female. Which one is it going to be? Courtship. I don't know, Scorpio. You're going to have to determine that. It's not clear. It's clear it's a decision, but it's not clear of what their intentions are from the past. And I feel when they do that, it's because it's going to be different for everybody. Some may have good intention, while others not. Contest. Be yourself fully. And you are without compare, a true winner of the only contest that matters. Exactly. There is only one you. I was just telling somebody this. There's only one you. You are an original. There is no two of you. Somebody can try to mimic you, copy you, imitate you, but never will they be you. It just isn't. So there is no contest. So just be you. Okay? which is awesome. All right, Scorpio, I hope that resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you, info's down in the description box below. Make sure you hit that link as there are scammers about. Know that you'll see my face on camera in a video if you order one from me and also an unlisted link that you'll have to utilize forever here on YouTube. Have a very Merry Christmas, and I will talk to you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.